what is up people what are you doing today i'm going to show you how i created this This is my first Unreal Engine project and in this video I'm going to briefly explain you how I created this. This is not a detailed tutorial but if you guys want that comment down below. If I get 10, 20 comments I'll make it. Okay. Moving ahead. Step 1 before making an environment is the concept art. You can make your own concept art or you can just find one online. But I would suggest you to pick something small for your first project because that will help you to clear your basics in environment art. Oh, now we got the concept. What are we supposed to do now? Well, pick up a pen, pick up a notepad or anything and start asset management. That's the first thing. Don't just pick up a photo and start modeling in Maya. Don't do that. That's a big mistake. Please don't do that. Divide every asset in three parts. The big, the medium and the small. The big like the buildings and like the main focus of the environment. In the medium detail you can add all the assets that you see in the environment that fill up the environment so the environment won't look empty. And the small details are very small detail like wires and like hanging for foliage or anything small like that. All this asset management will help you create a better environment with more time management. Now that you've done that, open Maya, start modeling. Uh, this is not a modeling tutorial. I'm guessing you know modeling. That's why you're learning environment art. If you don't know modeling, what the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out of here. Learn modeling. After you created a big asset and set up your plane, the ground plane and the main asset. Uh, so for me, it was this building and the ground plane and the side building. So I just blocked it out and exported it in fbx then i started importing the shit in unreal engine to set up my scene i'm not the expert but these are things i learned over the past month many great tutorials out there in youtube like unreal sensei he helped a lot in this learning session open unreal engine go to games click on the blank project name your project click on blueprints create project after you created project you you will see this window very easy down there there's the content browser control spacebar to open content browser whenever you want to the, this is like a, a file manager where you import all your project files your models your assets you'll see the name of your project right here then start by creating few folders mainly you will need these folder maps for creating labels don't think about that for materials a material folder a mesh folder for all the assets and a texture folder for all the texture you will create for the project. Now, put your big assets and start setting up the scene. Create a ground plane, set up your big assets, then create a cinematic camera. I'm going to create camera, cine camera. After you have created a cinematic camera, set up your camera according to your concept. After you've done that and you're satisfied with your theme, start adding up the medium assets to fill up the scene. After so you've done setting up your scene, it's looking good. Start with your lighting. I did the lighting in this by learning lighting in Unreal Engine by many tutorials on YouTube. I'm not gonna explain how I did it, but I did use a lot of emissive materials and lots of area lights. After I was done with the lighting, I added up the small details that I could see in the concept art, like small wires, boxes and foliage and little little props i can see in the concept art and after adding those details i started with the texturing i created a master material lots of material instance and set up my textures i made lots of custom materials for emissive and flickering lights and flickering emissive materials you can watch a lot of tutorials out there on youtube i teach them how to make it after I was done with my texturing and some tweaking with the lighting to, to match my concept art, I will start with the post effects. Post effects, uh, you can find post effects in your cinematic camera. The depth of field, the focus area, the bloom, the manual exposure, all that you make the scene look as good as possible. After I was done 
with the post processing now for rendering i'm going to use the sequencer in the unreal engine i created the main master sequence and i add add in my cameras and get, get all the details inside and outside so i did the, the camera animation set up many cameras according to my needs and after setting up all the cameras i started researching about how i'm going to get a high quality render so in order to get a high quality render you need movie render queue to enable that plugin go to edit plugin and search movie and you will find movie render queue enable that restart your unreal engine and you're good to go after you've done that after you set up your sequence and everything with the camera animations go to movie render queue inside movie render queue add in your sequencer after you add in add it in your sequencer go to the configure settings and there you will find jpeg and other settings just delete them all i will give you all my settings right there copy it down because these are the settings you will need to get a high quality render that is good for YouTube. So it's PNG and it's game overrides and it's many commands and it's anti-aliasing, man manual anti-aliasing. And this high resolution setting is optional if you want to go 4K or 16K renders. It's very optional but I recommend you to go not do that if you are rendering a camera animation because it's gonna fuck all the post processing up these are all the commands that you will need in order to render high quality renders just copy paste the settings and you're good to go i'm using lumen for unreal engine 4 users you might need more commands for global illumination ray tracing and stuff you can find them on the unreal engine documentary and after i set up my render configuration it's time to render i go out click on the rend render local and you're good to go it's faster than the other software because it's real time basically but it's not real time it's gonna give a better output than than what you're seeing in the preview and after you've done rendering i did some post processing in after effects because color correction is a must my man i added in some post processing color correction and everything and then i did this edit and i added the song and there you go I also created a live wallpaper of this so you can download it and like apply it on your desktop mobile anything you like and it's in the description it's free you can download it and apply it and yeah thanks for watching guys see you in the next video peace out